This is Yakes87 and welcome back to Chillin' with Carrots. I am Carrots and I will be your tour guide through Survival Hunter in Dark Heart Thicket. Now I know that intro is a little bit more exaggerated than normal, but hear me out. Survival is where it's at, especially for dungeons. Um, it is a melee hunter spec, so compared to all things it's a little bit different, uh, but nonetheless here we are. Um, the biggest thing with survival, you got three dots, and you got stacks, and you got focus burners, and you got cooldowns, and you got all kinds of stuff to manage. It is by far the most complicated hunter spec in the game I've ever seen, actually. Um, so, without further ado, sit back and watch, and I'll try to explain everything uh, the best I can what I'm doing here. Uh, it's just kind of become instinct to me at this point because uh, I've been doing it since 7.1 drop so uh, basically the three dots you got you got lacerate you got explosive trap and then you've got dragon's fire grenade um, we pulled a lot of crap there <laughs> but yeah uh, but yeah those are the three dots so when you start out the rotation, you're like, bam, you gotta get those dots up. And then you basically, you spam Mongoose Bite over and over again. You just, you spam it. And then you build up stacks. And each time you get a stack of Mongoose Bite, it increases the damage of your next Mongoose Bite. Which also applies to Fury of the Eagle, which is the artifact weapon ability. And uh, when you get all, get all of that lined up, it just deals a ton of damage. And it's awesome. Uh, so it, it's it's all about getting keeping your dots up, getting the stacks going, and then powering it down with a, a burst of Fury of the Eagle. Um, in the meantime, you've also got Flanking Strike, which you want to use as often as you can while not sacrificing Mongoose Bite stacks for it. Uh, but you do want to use it as often as you can because it's it's a really strong pet attack. And it has a really high chance to give you another mongoose bite. So when you're building up your stacks, it's really good to hit that as soon as it's available. And then there you go. Um, the other ability I have is called Carve. It's basically a cleave ability. You just swing the spear around and it deals a ton of AoE damage, which is really cool, actually. Um, especially because I've got the uh, Survival Legendary Ring which is Frizz's Finger Trap and what that does is when I have Lacerate on an enemy and an enemy um, it causes my carve to spread that to other places so it's basically it turns me into a death knight basically with diseases and spreading diseases and all that fun stuff except I'm spreading a bleed ability so, someone explain to me how I spread a leap. I don't know. Uh, the other ability I have is uh, for focus burning when you're not building up Mongoose Bite stacks is Throwing Axes, which is a talented range ability. And then I also have Raptor Strike, which thankfully in 7.1 they buffed Raptor Strike, so it's actually viable in the rotation uh, when you need to just burn some focus on it. But for the most part, you really only want to use Raptor Strike when you're sitting on a pile of focus. You're not in the middle of building a Mongoose Bites, and you're out of Throwing Axes. Because you get... Throwing Axes is on a two charge, so you got two of them. And uh, usually I don't need to use Raptor Strike, but every now and then I'll just hit Raptor Strike anyway. Uh, just because it, it's there, and it's a good focus burner when you got nothing else going on. Better than just standing around, I guess. You know, this is the first time I think I've ever run Dark Heart Ticket without a druid in the group. This is the first time, I think. Which, the re only reason I say that is because this first boss here, if you have a druid in the group, he's always like, What is that you hold, druid? How did you get such a weapon? 
and it makes all kinds of crazy comments about the uh, druid weapons. Oh man, I goofed up that. Okay. Anyway, as far as uh, cooldowns go for boss fights uh, with the survival hunter, I do have uh, Murder of Crows, which I use on my Beast Mastery build, and then I also have Aspect of the Eagle, which is like a 30% damage increase. It's something crazy like that, and you generate Mongoose Bite stacks faster, and you got a little bit of haste, so it's, it's a crazy awesome cooldown. It's every minute and a half. I always do that. Okay. So yeah, that's a little bit better. But yeah, you, you use those. Um, with my survival build, I do use uh, when I go raiding with it, which is very rarely. Um, but when I do like big high level mythic dungeons and those kinds of things, uh, my potion of choice is Potion of Old War, which unlike the uh, Potion of Prolonged Power is actually a relatively expensive potion to make. However, luckily for me, my other 110 character, which is a holy, holy paladin right now, I do have alchemy on that, so that does help now that I've got the ability to make flasks and combat potions and those kinds of things. That does help with some of the raid bill, and then uh, my hunter here, I do have cooking on, so that helps me with the other half of the raid bill, so it all works out. I've run this dungeon a lot. I really like this dungeon. Not as much as uh, Halls of Valor, but I do like this dungeon. I don't know, I've just, I've always kind of had a really, like, like an, an attachment of sorts to nature-based dungeons. Like, the there's a wing in, Dire, in uh, not Diremont, but uh, Maradon that has uh, a big nature wing to it. Um, that one's really cool. Uh, Wailing Caverns, that's a really cool one. And then I, I was always a big fan of Burning Crusade. We had the uh, Coil Fang Reservoir dungeons. Those ones were really cool. I liked those dungeons. Alright, and it does look like the world quest is up right now, so we're gonna sneak around behind this building here and go get Kudzilla. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to uh, survival hunters and, and the like, uh, but it's all manageable. Um, but the, the problem is, because of the build-up to maximize the DPS out of survival efficiently, it is kind of why I was turned off of it in, in terms of rating, because, um, and, and one of the biggest examples of this is Elgreath Renferl. Um, which is the spider bird boss in Emerald Nightmare. Uh, the problem with that boss fight and, and survival is after so long she does this, she, she goes up in, in, the, in the sky and deals all kinds of damage and she's basically unhittable at that point. Well, when I was doing it, it was like every time the uh, feeding time ability seemed to be perfectly timed with when I'm finally ready to unleash that uh, devastating uh, Fury of the Eagle. So it's just like I was always constantly missing 
out on my burst DPS checks on that, which as as a result, I was not able to do the DPS I needed. Rather to get the numbers I wanted to see <laughs> on the the damage meter when the boss died, but and that's kind of what incented me what was an incentive to switch and run uh, Beast Mastery in raids. And par another part of that is just the fact that there's so many, I mean, an incredible amount of melee DPS players out there right now, and there aren't really a whole lot of ranged. They're, they're, I'm, I've been doing this for a while, uh, the, the whole talking, recording video, so my, my voice is kind of tired right now. But uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of melee DPS and not a lot of range DPS. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, hold on. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a not a lot, not a lot of range DPS. So, and, and when you put groups together, and I've been in this because I, I do read lead read lead raids uh, with with my guild, and part of that is just you want to have a good balance between ranged and melee DPS. And instinctively, anytime you see a hunter sign up you think ranged because that's what hunters have done for years is all they were was a ranged class well now you throw the, the the survival hunters into it and it's like oh who's a hunter oh hey surprise by the way you guys don't mind if I melee right and they're like well what are you doing you're a hunter you're supposed to be like ranged and stuff right and I'm like nope I'm a survival hunter and they're like well can you not do that and I'm like okay fine so I was constantly playing you know, not the, the spec I wanted to play as, because we were like, well, hey, can you not melee? And I'd be like, okay, fine. So, it would it would turn to that, and then I was like, well, you know what? I need to flush out one of these range specs, because if, if I want to make myself viable in raids, and, and dungeons too, for that matter, I need to be a, I need to be flexible. Not tank, heal, and DPS, and range DPS flexible, but you know, I, I can do, you know, a little bit of melee here and there, a little bit of range. I kind of do exactly whatever the group needs me to do. I can fulfill any role. So. I stood in the roots. Let's speed up and get to the next boss, shall we? Alright, here we are, Dresser on. This is a really cool boss, it's a dragon. Well duh, of course it's a dragon. Um <laughs> you can see it's it's clearly a it, it might be a dragon. Uh but it does a uh, breath and then it also does a mass knockback. This one right here. 
So you have to keep moving and then swinging and then attacking and all that fun stuff. Uh, but then it also does Earth Shaking Roar. There you go. You gotta dodge the fallen rocks. Don't stand in front of the dragon. And you're good to go. It's a really easy fight. You know, who doesn't like this fight? This this is a really, it's it's a really simple fight. It's an easy fight. It's good for good loot. Good quick loot. There we go. It's perfect fight as a uh, melee DPS too because it's really easy to uh, keep up with the uh, the down drafts because everything's an instant cast uh, as a melee DPS. So that that's a good plus. That's a good that's a good plus bonus. All right, we got Dresser Ron down. Good deal. Good good deal. just jump down and we are looking at free shade of Xavius trash. Uh, there's just like four or five holes here as we are walking along this big grit here. On our way to the end of the dungeon. Basically, this place is filled with satyrs. Um, if you're not sure what the storyline is behind Dark Heart, they get the dungeon itself. Um, basically, Xavius, who's kind of a douche, uh, to be honest, is basically trying to hunt down Malfurion and get revenge for a thousand years of douchebaggery that he is. They've been going at it for tens of thousands of years and all that. And basically his way of like, well, l let me get back at Malfurion is to get back at that he holds dear, which is the Emerald Dream, which is the, the, the centerpiece of Druidic arts in Warcraft. And because of that, he spawned the, the raid Emerald Nightmare, which is basically Xavius's twisted version of the Emerald Dream. And, and Darkheart Thicket is kind of like... It's basically the underneath of Shaladrasil, the uh, the world tree, and uh, so basically we're like inside the big tree and uh, trying to stop him, which he's already sort of started corrupting the big tree, uh, but we're trying to keep him from, from doing that because he's a dick, and we don't like that. We don't like it when people are, people are dicks like that, right? Okay, sounds good. Just kill these these satyrs and their imps, and then we'll be able to beat up uh, Shade of Zadies. How's that sound? I think that sounds like a good plan. Alright, we made it! That is the last of the trash. This dungeon is on Mythic, in case you were wondering. I, I don't, don't know if I said that at the beginning or not, but we are on Mythic Dark Heart Thicket. And it's time for Shade of Xavius. And you can see his, his buddy Malfurion, he, he's right there. He's, he's, he's right there. Alright, good deal. Let's pull this. Uh, basically, this boss is... You, you're just basically going to burn him down. And not stand next to each other. If we don't have to. And then stand next to each other when we have to stand next to each other. Because that's how mechanics work. Sure, sure. 
There we go, we got him. We got him. The end. G. G. Okay. So. Yes, Malfurion, we get it. We get it, Malfurion. Alright, so I'm gonna hark back to Dal. So. That is going to be the end of this wave of videos. Um, I just gonna, I'm just going to do the, the three, uh, just the three right now. Um, I'm going to come up with some other cool ways we can hang out with carrots here and uh, kind of explore Azeroth. So I'm, I'm thinking of ideas. If you guys have any piece of, if there's any piece of Legion content you want to see me take care of with carrots, uh, let me know. Um, I've also got a 110 pally I can do if you want to see some healing. Uh, so let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, this is this is my go-to game. I've been playing it for 12 years. I love it so much. So uh, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time. See you later. Stop it, Blingtron. God damn.